Hey guys, Jonathan from Stubmaster Reviews, and I'm here yet again to continue our Halloween series of reviews. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick this one off with Friday the 13th, the original, the uncut version, so the one that was too racy to show in theaters. And honestly, I uh, this was the franchise that really introduced me into slasher horror films. Halloween started the franchise and Friday the 13th was hot on its coattails actually it only released two years after the original Halloween and you can clearly tell that this the entire franchise's purpose of Friday the 13th was pretty much just to, you know ride on the success of Halloween and hopefully that people would still be interested in those things um, so right off the bat this film is not as good as Halloween I haven't seen the second Halloween too so I don't know how it compares to that but to the original Halloween and the original Friday the 13th, there's really just, there's nothing to compare. Um, there are a few preferences that I do have over, with Friday the 13th over Halloween. That being said, um, Friday the 13th definitely has a lot of shortcomings, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So basically the film follows this girl, I don't even remember her name because her character is so forgettable, and uh, she's hired to start up this camp along with a bunch of other teenage counselors. And uh, they get caught in a storm, and then they get killed off one by one in relatively creative ways. And that's pretty much how the rest of this franchise goes. But I'll go ahead and say things I did like. So the setting is great. Honestly, there's nothing more terrifying than being stuck in the middle of the woods in the middle of a thunderstorm as your friends are being slowly picked off one by one, not knowing why or who is doing it. Um... Also, I really liked a lot of the shots they used. Um, I love the setting. I can't go over There's plenty of awesome shots where it's like pouring rain. Um, there's this one shot I loved of a diner in the film where it's yet again pouring rain in the dark and just the contrast between the bright lights of the diner and the foreground of the forest looks great. Also, I loved a few shots of just like people opening doors and you just see the feet. You know that it's the killer and the raindrop. It, it, I, overall, it's just very atmospheric. And I think that that's the one thing I did prefer with uh, Friday the 13th over Halloween is that it definitely has a thick atmosphere that's definitely unique and it's scarier than just your everyday suburban setting. Uh, the acting is actually pretty good. In fact, I'd say that the acting as a whole is better than Halloween. That being said, the, sh the script is really, it really falls short. Honestly, the first half of the film I thought was better than the second half. Because the first half is interesting. Um, the girl, basically, she, you know, she's heading over to the job. She hears all these creepy things about the place, how, pe how kids have died there, people, you know, kid drowned, blah, blah, blah. It's an interesting setup, and you, fear, you definitely feel there's something wrong at the side of the camp. However, after the first few kills, the film has a serious issue with pacing it starts dragging the one thing about halloween that i really enjoyed was the fact that it pretty much started and then stopped like it was a non-stop thrill ride you were always interested to see what was happening because the screenplay was so interesting and there was so much tension and the film gave you very little room to breathe on the other hand after the first three kills there's just like a good 25 minutes that really nothing happens besides people just discovering dead bodies and friday the 13th and um i i think i would prefer them to to get on where they're going with it a little bit more. And then you have the big revelation that, of course, spoiler alert, if you're not familiar with this franchise, that Jason Voorhees' mom is killing everybody. It's not Jason himself. And, oh, yeah, people are really shocked by that. Mainly because later on in the franchise, you have Jason Voorhees, and eventually he gets the hockey mask, and he's, like, the killer of the franchise, but it all started with his mom. Um, so his mother... Uh, plays, uh, I forgot her, the actress's name, she is excellent, like, she really, when you find out that she's crazy, and the revelation of how she's crazy, and she plays it off, it's very unsettling, you can tell there's something wrong with this woman, and um, she definitely brought a lot to the film when she was there. So, the film picks up the last 20 minutes, basically, when it's just the final girl stereotype, like, she's, there's only one girl left, and she's fighting Jason Voorhees' mom across camp, that was interesting. Um, but overall, I think I just wanted a little bit more from Friday the 13th, especially considering that it's a cult classic. Sure, it had some inventive kills. I mean, Kevin Bacon was in it. He got stabbed in the throat with an arrow. That was cool. But, I mean, aside from some cinematography and some pretty solid acting, uh, the film as a whole just wasn't very, uh, unique, and I don't think that it was creative or, uh, in suspenseful enough to hold a candle to the first Halloween film. And of course, I just reviewed Halloween, so that's the reason why I'm comparing it so much. 
But yet again, Friday the 13th is just a fun film. I mean, it's kind of throwaway. I don't ever see myself seeing it again other than just showing a friend to just put something on during Halloween season. So I'm going to go ahead and give the first Friday the 13th, the uncut version, a 2 out of 5 stars. Sure, it has its moments, but they're definitely better horror films to watch. So guys, how did you like the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Um, you can buy our merch at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Um, you know, mugs, some shirts, hoodie for grandma, you know, completely up to you. But all the fun basically has come back to us so, you know, we can produce better videos and get better content out there for you guys. All right, and Jonathan from Stubmaster Reviews. Have an excellent day.